Hello everyone, this is the IFC Architect speaking, and today we are going to cover um, staircases and just how to create a new story for a multi-story building. This is not a full video following that, it's just generally the structure and how that applies. To install Blender BIM or Blender, check the installation videos in the description. Please update your Blender BIM to the latest build I am using found on my channel about page. My layout very simply has the properties on the right hand side and the outliner on the left hand side. Please make sure that you've got your snaps enabled, which just allow you to easily um, model things and move them around and make sure that your move gizmo, this little object here, is uh, selected. Control Z, Control Z. You can follow what I'm doing with screencast keys in the bottom left. Okay, cool, let's get started. So it's gonna be quite quick. Um, we're just going to get into a normal space. Just make sure that you've deleted everything in your scene and then using these um, metrics, just say create project. I'm going to press 7 on my numpad and I'm going to make sure I have my screen screencast keys turned on so that you can follow along. I'm going to collapse this and then I'm just going to press N and then I'm going to go on to the BIM tool over there and we're going to go to tool and we're going to select the slab type and 150 is fine and then it's been added and we say shift E and you press 2 to adjust these. So I'm just going to make this one um, uh, 4, 1, 2, 3 and then this one is going to be four and a half, four, five, oh, oh, four and a half meters, um, which is 4,500 um, millimeters. Anyway, uh, I'm going to press Control R to add a point here. And we can see that it is 2,750 from the edge. And I just want a one meter um, from the edge. So I'm going to say 1,750. And then I'm just going to press Control R again. And we can see this one is 2250, so I'm just going to say minus 1250. And then I'm just going to press Control R. And I'm going to move this one out minus 1000. And I'm going to line it up with there. And I'm going to press Control R and snap there and snap there. And then I'm going to press Shift Q to save it. And then we have a floor. Um, essentially, we're going to create a structure using staircases, columns, and floors, and it's going to be a, a Le Corbusian domino-esque domino building, but it's much simpler. Anyway, back to 7, so we can go straight up, and then I'm just going to snap there, and we're going to say, gonna snap there, yep, 7, and then we're going to go to our normal selection box, and I'm going to say Shift-A, Mesh, Cube, and then I'm going to rename this cube to a stair. And then we just need to go here to the object properties and we need to come to IFC object metadata. So it's an element and we want to classify it as an IFC stair flight. And then we just want it to be a straight stair. So I'm just going to say assign class. And then you see it has all these IFC object elements. It has all this information. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the modifier properties and you see here one of the modifiers is the IFC stair. Um, so we're just going to say add stair and you can see it's been added as a stair. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it in the Z direction so it is in the right direction. So I'm going to say 90 and then I'm just going to edit these elements. So I have a set of values that I want to use here. So this one is going to be 1000 which is the width and then the height I'm going to have it at 2380 and then number of treads I'm going to have it at 13 and the tread depth I'm going to leave at 250 and the tread run I'm going to make 250 as well and then the base slab depth I'm going to make 200 and the top slab depth I'm going to make 200. So you can just see that it's adjusted this to line up essentially. So I'm just going to say GZ so that is at the bottom and we have a perfectly good staircase there and then all you have to do here is because it doesn't update automatically right now is go to object data properties and say update representation otherwise it will show as a cube when you print it as a drawing anyway okay the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to go back to our BIM tool and we're going to select a IFC column uh, type and C1 is okay I'm going to go press 7 and I'm just going to snap it to there I'm going to say add select the column and I'm just going to snap it there I'm just going to make sure that the column is sitting above ground and I'm just going to say shift D Y and snap it there. I'm going to select both of these and I'm gonna say shift D X and snap it to there. And then there we have our basic structure for our floor. Um, it's not so complicated, but that's kind of what it is. And I'm just going to adjust these heights to uh, 2180 because I don't want it to poke through the floor above. And there we go. 
Okay, cool. And the next thing we're going to do is we are going to create a new story. So all you need to do is select the building empty, which is here, but you can't see it right now. It's inside of these other empties, but it's here in the outliner. And then you go to uh, object properties, and then you just go to IFC aggregates and you go here and it says add building story. Very simple. You click that button, you name your building story. I'm going to call this the first floor, uh, just because in South Africa, we call the bottom floor, the ground floor, and then it's zero one two that that's how it works um so we've created that floor and you can see it's added there and all we need to do is take that uh unfortunately it's not added automatically but that first floor is still at the ground floor so we just need to take that and snap it to the correct height that we know is correct which is that height um and then all we need to do following that is we're going to copy these columns the stair and the floor and we're going to attach it to the next floor so we're just going to select all of those and you say shift D Z and we're going to make it that height, which is two, three eighty. And you can see it's lining up perfectly. And then you're just going to take these and drag it into the first floor. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to grab this one more time and I'm say shift D Z uh, two, three eighty. And there we have a roof as well. So there we've created a domino esque building. Um, it was quite quick and yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to be delving into how to do a multi-story building with full renovations from um, drafting from an existing plan that we're going to bring in and all that um, in another video. But I thought, let me just cover the stairs and the additional stories in a very condensed video so that this is easy watching. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Uh, if you found that interesting or useful, you can check out more at the OSARC community page. This was made using Blender, the Blender BIM add-on, which is powered by the IFC OpenShell, and the community that we're involved in is the OSR community. I will provide links in the description, and you can check other videos to follow along. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.